Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video, we're going to take a look at assessments for students from the instructor's perspective. So here I'm on the instructor's website. I'm going to take you up to the top menu where it says classes and we're going to click on that to get to our classroom dashboard. Once here, you can see I'm on the parents class dashboard. So I'm going to switch views to the instructor over here on the right and drop down and click on instructor view. Once here, I'm going to take you to our classes widget, down to chemistry, and we're going to open up chemistry. To access your assessments for your student, you're going to first want to set them up. So to do that, we need to get to the edit home page for chemistry. So we're going to click on chemistry, and it opens up our edit class chemistry. Here we can choose general information. Here we have registration for the class itself finance information that you want to tell your admins. We have our grading tool. We go over this in another video. And then our tab over here is for assessments. So these are the assessment categories that are set up currently for this website. If there's an assessment that is missing that you would like to use in this as an instructor, you can click up here on manage categories. And when we do that, it's going to say before you go over here, which the system will redirect you to another page, you want to make sure, I'm going to hit cancel, you're going to make sure that any changes you've made on these top tabs that you click on save changes before you are redirected to the assessment categories. So I've made no changes so I'm just going to say manage categories. I'm going to say OK. And it takes me to the settings for assessments. So here we have all of our categories and if you wanted to add a category you would go up here on the right hand side and click on add an assessment category. As an instructor you can add categories but you cannot delete them nor can you make them inactive. That is an admin field only. Down here we have our assessment ratings. We have needs improvement, outstanding, and satisfactory. If there was another assessment rating you wanted to use again you would click on the right here and add an assessment rating. So I'm going to take you back to where we were for our class edit page and under assessments you can see I've chosen come prepared with materials, contributes to discussion, demonstrates knowledge of concepts, follows oral directions, participates and works with others. And I'll go ahead and click on save changes. To start using assessments for your students, scroll down until you see the assessment tab. Click on the assessment tab and this will take you to a list of your students that are in your classes. Currently I have three students in my class and I have not given any assessments for any of my students as of now. So if I clicked on Lily, I can assess her in the categories that I've chosen. So for today, and you can see here, assessment date 811. So does she come prepared with materials? Yes, she's outstanding with that. She contributes to discussions. She demonstrates the knowledge, follows order or oral directions. I'll say satisfactory. Maybe she needs some improvement there. She participates and she does work well with others. You can also add some comments in the box here and then you can add the assessment. We'll say OK. When we add the assessment, it takes us back to our students here. We can go ahead and assess another student or we can return back to our class home page by clicking here. I'm going to take you back to your class home page. If I click on assessments again and I went to Lily, I can click her assessment open and it will tell me that the last assessment I did was on 8-11. The drop down menu will show you all the dates that you've ass assessed this child. The parent and the student also will be able to see that and they can see how their ch child has progressed throughout the class. If you have any further questions regarding assessments, please contact your administrator of your website. 